Good morning, Dingles Crypto. So I hope everybody's had a fantastic Christmas. I hope you spent it with the people you're most grateful for in life. Um, but let's jump right into crypto news. There's been a significant amount of stuff that's been happening the last two two days or so. We have XRP uh, delisting news. We have one inch airdrop from interacting with their protocol news. Substantial airdrop, guys. And I have we're going to discuss potential airdrop protocols right that in the future so if you interact today you could be potentially potentially rewarded with airdrop tokens in the future so stay tuned and bitcoin all-time high blackrock the one of the the biggest investment firm in the world has has is hiring a, a blockchain analysis uh head of blackrock right so if you want a job we'll check it out later but let's jump right into bitcoin price action it is looking good uh th it's been a good year for crypto guys but i think next year will be better uh maybe not in percent gains i mean we've had i mean <laughs> 246 percent. so if we have another 300 percent year that will put us at 160 thousand. did i just do that math right 40, 80, 160, yeah, 160,000. So 250% again this year would put us at a reasonable price for Bitcoin in the bull market run, guys. So just keep that in mind. This year is probably as good of a year as it could have gotten. Like, it's a good year, guys. It is a good year. But Ethereum obviously has done significantly better over the course of a year, right? But, but I do believe it's going to... Uh, break correlation with Bitcoin here soon. Bitcoin, Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, I think they will break correlation here soon, and I think it will have a fantastic quarter one. We've been hanging around this uh, six thirty, six hundred dollar price range for a while since early November, right, guys? Uh, we've been having trouble with the six hundred and twenty dollar price for resistance right and next i'm going to bring up chain link and the reason why i'm bringing up chain link is if you go back to this summer who led the altcoin season it was chain link chain link was the first alt to really get moving uh, i went to, from four dollars to twenty dollars in a matter of a, a month and a half two months right so it it was like i mean 250 percent gain 300 percent gain and two months right so it's very substantial and i think chain link will be we are technically in kind of in an alt season right now guys but also i don't think it was not even near as close to what it was this summer guys so i think we will get another round of alt season before the cycle ends and i think chain link might be the first mover once again in this new cycle so keep an eye on chain link um i think it will be the first mover for the altcoin season Next is the one inch exchange token airdrop for interacting with its protocol. If you don't know what one inch is, it's basically a, a price aggregator for DEXs and they dropped a substantial airdrop. Like if you go down, people were getting $1,500. So just imagine if you interacted with one inch a month ago with 30, 20 different wallets, right? That's, that's $25,000 for free obviously you would have to pay gas fees but literally this it might be the best risk to reward ratio in crypto or in the world right now guys by react to by interacting with these protocols that potentially could have a token airdrop and later in a, in a couple minutes here i'm going to show you exactly i'm going to show you like eight protocols that do not have tokens so if you haven't uh, if you have used one inch in the past you can just go connect to your wallet and there's this little tab to claim your tokens unfortunately I did not interact with one inch I, I almost used it several times in the past I just didn't but I, I mean I'm not going to be I'm not I mean it is what it is at this point but I'm not going to make this same mistake in the future I have interacted with a lot of protocols with several actually more than several wallets right so and it's easy to do to interact so you just go to metamask 
and then you just add you just create a new wallet and then you send ethereum to your new wallet and interact with that protocol and there you go now you have a new wallet address connected to that protocol so that is that is i mean you got to do that guys that's the lowest risk to the highest reward investment or t like that literally do it with 20 wallets that's potentially twenty thousand dollars for maybe fifty dollars worth of gas fees right so here's a list of protocols that do not yet have tokens and that's exactly one what, what you want to see i will uh, rank these in my perspective dydx is number one in my eyes they will most certainly have pro a token and uh, okay dydx is definitely number one they will most definitely have a token i don't know when or if the token distribution will be uh, formulated by token airdrops right from interacting with a protocol next i would say uh zapper fi will most likely have a token pair swap will because it's pretty much the same as um i believe it's the same as one inch right so I could see it following DeFi Saver is my next. I'm almost positive they will do a token as well. OPYN will, they're the same thing as Hedgic, but Hedgic is outdoing them because they reward their uh, derivative liquidity providers with their token. So OPYN is going to have to follow to stay relative, uh, to stay relevant, right? So OPYN will follow. I don't know if they will do a token airdrop, but if they do, they definitely. They, I mean, th that is a substantial protocol right there. I like OPYN a lot. So interact with these protocols. Very low risk, high reward, guys. Probably, probably the best investment in the world right now that nobody knows about, guys, is this. Let's jump into BlackRock. And BlackRock is... The, the world's largest asset management company they work very closely with the federal reserve guys so if blackrock adopts bitcoin and blockchain don't be i mean that's literally the the, the private company closest to the federal reserve if you talk about any uh, purchasing of assets or corporate bonds or anything by the treasurer treasury it's through blackrock okay so so if you want a job here we go now we're talking about jobs right now guys must have one year of experience guys come on i might i might apply <laughs> in articulating the technology technical no i can't even read i already lost i already lost i can't read this guys but anyways they're just basically they're hiring um so if you want a job go ahead and shoot them this job might be paying a million dollars a year probably because it's a very a black rock is humongous but uh, it just shows adoption actually there was one video i did want to show you and it's this right here this was back in november um, before you go you had, you had alluded to the the distinction between what's happened with the price of gold and bitcoin and and you said that you think it's moving towards bitcoin is that a a long-term trend does that mean you're a, a bitcoin bull i asked because we had talked to jamie diamond earlier this week who despite jp morgan supporting crypto in a very big way and actually bitcoin to some degree um on bitcoin itself he seemed to think it's still very possible if it ever really and maybe it's getting close uh per bitcoin that the government actually so, Andrew, I, mean, I think, listen, I think cryptocurrency is here to stay, and I think it is a durable, and you've seen the central banks that have talked about digital currencies. I think digital currency and the receptivity, particularly millennials' receptivity of, uh, of technology and cryptocurrency is real. Digital payment systems is real. So I think Bitcoin is here to stay. I think, you know, do, am, I a, am I a Bitcoin bull? I mean, I don't do a lot of it or virtually any of it in my portfolios, my, my, uh, my corporate portfolios, my business portfolios. But do I think it is probably, I, you know, it's hard to say, is it worth the price it's trading at today? But do I think it's a durable mechanism that, that you know, do I think will take the place of gold to a large extent? Yeah, I do, because it's so much more functional than, uh, than passing a bar of gold around. Passing a bar of gold around. Guys, this is the CIO of BlackRock, the biggest asset manager in the world, saying yes, of course he says it like an, it's an obvious objective fact he says yes of course i think bitcoin is better than gold 
Uh, so that, I mean, you cannot get any more bullish or uh, that was back in November, but um, they they look world largest asset manager BlackRock looking for blockchain exec guys it's just it's just institutional adoption time guys so one interesting uh, tweet I saw was maybe alt season won't come this cycle because it's primarily institutional adopters but I don't believe that but it's also kind of an interesting interesting uh, perspective right so just keep that in mind always have majority of her portfolio in Bitcoin even though I have mine in Ethereum <laughs> so I'm a hypocrite but that's what I do money so here's a uh, ripples partner money grab now says it never used XRP this is I have been preaching that XRP's partnerships are fake and paid for these XRP shills that say oh my like tick uh, crypto tick tock is so toxic i l simply say that all ripple and xrp's partnerships are all fake but if 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 any bank is going to use anything to transact it's going to be a stable coin on ethereum end of story guys why would they use a volatile asset to exchange value and let alone a centralized a centralized blockchain right why would if they any bank could easily make their own XRP or their own blockchain just to transact money over? It's absolutely asinine, and they're getting um, delisted from exchanges all over. I, I'm sorry to hear if any one of you guys are XRP holders. I'm never and will never hold XRP. Elon Musk pumping that Doge coin. I think this is how he gets extra spending money, guys. He uh, just simply buys doge and then he tweets a stupid ass tweet like this and it pumps <laughs> so this this might be a way to earn extra extra money right there for elon musk a couple hundred thousand easy <laughs> i'm just kidding but to end it off guys last thing historical bitcoin prices on christmas day right so actually this is not up to date because right now we are sitting at 24.9. Let's see if we pass 25. No, unfortunately not. That mental resistance is still there. Maybe we'll cr cross in the next 10 minutes or so. But we could see a $25,000 Bitcoin in on Christmas Day. Absolutely insane, guys. This next year is going to be insane. I am super excited to share that with all of you guys. I'm at 185. I can't thank each and every one of you guys enough. If you don't follow already, go shoot a subscribe to keep up with the latest crypto news. But that is it for today. Peace out till next time. Peace.